images of destruction have become a common sight in southern Kaduna. Hundreds, many of whom are children, have become homeless after fleeing from attacks that claimed many lives. Life in camps like this one is a daily hustle. Everyone files for the food, which usually is available once a day. Tired of the situation, this gathering has come together to seek ways of putting an end to the lingering violence in southern Kaduna. Kicking off the peace summit, the executive secretary of the Nigerian Christian Pilgrims Commission explains its objective and selection of stakeholders. Our mission here is to facilitate a peace process through dialogue and negotiations as well as enhancing participation and cooperation among all stakeholders here present. Community representatives bear their minds on the importance of the summit and its expected impact. It's going to be a beginning, the first step to preparing a template which we are going to use to establish lasting peace, mm. not only in Southern Kaduna, mm. but for Nigeria. At the time I was invited, I was scared of coming. But on a second thought, I had to come to know the real truth. Secondly, let's forget about what history our forefathers told us and live in peace with one another. Let's not dwell on the past, but embrace peace for the future generations. A charge is issued to participants to take home as food for thought. We cannot continue to spill blood here or see blood being shed. No, it's unacceptable. Let us emphasize the commonalities. If poverty is the common thing, and if we want to exercise poverty, we have to work together as brothers and sisters. Many would see this summit as a step in the right direction and as plans towards achieving lasting peace are set in motion, the desire of all affected by the violence is that nothing derails its intentions.